Hi, I'm Mahalakshmi. Today we are going to discuss about the colors used in the cosmetics. Colors are not only used in cosmetics but also in skincare and hair care products to color the uh, products. It is also used in soaps. So these colors are widely classified into organic colors, inorganic colors, micas and natural colors. So coming to the inorganic colors, those are the iron oxides, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide. These are the minerals found in the earth. These are the iron oxides. This is the red iron oxide, black and yellow iron oxides. These are widely used in the uh, BB creams, foundations, compacts and uh, other color cosmetics. Similarly, we have titanium dioxide and zinc oxide which reflect light and are mostly used in sunscreens. These are also used in lipsticks and uh, other color cosmetics to adjust the color uh, when used with iron oxides or with the dyes. These are known to contain heavy metals since these are mined from the earth. R right now, f many of these iron oxides are synthetically produced in lab to uh, eliminate those heavy metals or reduce at a maximum content. The next one is organic colors, which are FDNC colors, DNC colors, lakes. FDNC in the sense food, drug and cosmetic. These colors are approved to be used in food, drugs and cosmetics, while DNC are only approved for drugs and cosmetics. So there are various colors uh, in the organic colors. Uh, it, it varies from pinks, reds to browns, greens and uh, many more. The inorganic the inorganic colors uh, like iron oxides are only available in limited colors but the lakes and dyes are available in numerous colors. Dyes are soluble in water while lakes are oil dispersible. Um, these are the two examples of the lakes. Lakes are made from the dyes. Those are less concentrated and are made using an inert binder like aluminium. Not all dyes and lakes are approved for all kind of cosmetics. Certain colors are only approved for skin and only few are approved for eye and lip cosmetics. Ultramarines, ferric ferrocyanide um, are not approved for lip products in certain uh, countries and areas. You need to check with the supplier if the color is uh, lip or eye safe. You can also find this information in the FDA website. I will leave the link in the description box. You can find it based on the CI number. The CI number indicates the uh, type of dye or the color. You can see it here. These colors are from Coel. It is one of the approved uh, FDA color manufacturing company. These dyes and lakes also have heavy metals, so there are certain restrictions uh, in these colorants. All these colorants go through the screening and are ensured that the heavy metals are at a minimum concentration which doesn't affect health. Coming to micas, mica is a shimmery uh, material shimmery sh uh, shiny material which is also found from the earth in the form of rocks. These are two of the micas from uh, Sufius Mica. These micas are mostly used in lip glosses, soaps and other shimmery kind of color cosmetics. There are certain ethical issues with mica. It is known that child labor are used to mine the mica in certain areas and due to these uh, the uh, kids involved in mining are having health problems. So certain people do not consider using mica or they use only from uh, ethically sourced suppliers. There is a documentary as well on this. The difference between the organic and inorganic colors is the presence of the carbon atom in the organic colors which is not in the inorganic colors. It is not uh, in terms of the extraction or how natural it is. Coming to the last one, those are natural colorants. We know that there are different types of natural colorants like beetroot powder, anato powder, alkanoid powder, charcoal powder 
and clays but uh, not all of these are used in cosmetics but most of them are used in soaps especially in the cold processed soaps the ones that are widely used in uh, cosmetics are anato beta carotene anato uh, color is extracted from the anato seeds bixin it is oil soluble another one is alkanut uh, alkanut root infused gives a purple hue this is the anato oleo resin and this is the alkanut root infusion these natural colorants tend to change the color depending upon the ph light and temperature example the alkanut changes the color to purple where at a basic ph when used in soap it changes color to purple similarly um, other natural colorants to change with the light temperature even the beetroot color changes from pink to brown in couple of months so the, uh, not all of these colors are used in the uh, cosmetics especially in the lipsticks or foundations but there are certain colorants which can be used which are approved to example anato and beta carotene these give orange color carmine is another popular one which is uh, used to give a pink color beautiful pink color to the uh, lipsticks or uh, color cosmetics but it is not a vegetarian or a vegan option since it is derived from the insects there are certain restrictions in the usage rate too few are allowed to be used only at three percent so you need to know this from the supplier since the pigments and dyes are in powder form and are not soluble in uh, oils sometimes it becomes difficult to add in lipsticks or uh, any cosmetics for that matter so uh, generally in commercial industries there are triple rollers and equipment which uh, grind it into smooth paste since the dyes uh, and lakes are available in powder form and it becomes difficult to sometimes incorporate them in lipsticks we can use liquid colors which are pre-dispersed colors like this one this is from Purenso. or you can grind the color in the castor oil and make a paste so that you can use it i have grinded the uh, lake rubine lake into the castor oil there are other liquid colors which are uh, only used for melt and pour soaps which are not used in cosmetics for now this is what i have it depends upon you on which colorants uh, you want to use in the cosmetics. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please put in the comment box. I would like to know. Thank you for watching.